Hello guys, it's NYT, and today uh, we're going to be teaching you guys how to make a simulator. Um, it's, yeah, just part one, and uh, it's going to be mainly GUI based, so it looks slightly cool. Anyways, um, let's speak. So, um, it's like a cookie clicker type game simulator, you know? Um, but yeah, but let's begin. So I'm going to make a screen GUI here, and uh, let's going to name it Click Me because click and uh, frame alrighty okay and um, after making a frame I'm going to recolor it with blue because blue is cool okay and then I'm going to add a text button and then Next, click and okay. Just I'm gonna edit this background transparency 0.5. Okay. Anyways, so after making it, uh, you know, it, it, this, yeah, <laughs> uh, we're gonna make a leader stats. So uh, game dot players. Oh wow, I saw it. Players dot um, player added connect. What am I doing? Function click PLR. What the no? Okay. And then local uh, leader stats equals instance dot new folder leader stats dot parent equals player leader stats dot name equals leader stats. Alright, after that we're gonna do a local oh let's see let's call these cubes ice cubes All right, ice cube simulator very unique totally instance dot new int value All right, after doing this, ice cubes dot name equals, you know, you know, ice cubes. So yeah, I'm just showing you guys how to make a leader stats here. And then ice cubes dot parent equals the leader stats. There we go. So uh, we, we got, we got this set up, you know. Okay, now after making the leader stats, also make sure you name the script leader stats. So when we click this, we're gonna we have to earn the ice cubes, right? So uh, we're gonna have to add a script, to, a local script, and okay, and script dot parent dot mouse button click connect a function. Alrighty, and then uh, we're also gonna make a variable for player, so. Equals game dot players dot local player. And yeah. Okay, that's it. So when when we click it, we also want to have a cooldown for it. So local db. So we're gonna limit it kind of so false. If db equals equals false, then db equals true. And then wait, like, I don't know, 0.5 seconds, and then db equals false. Okay, inside here, we're gonna also, um, we're gonna write the script here later. So you wanna go to replicate storage, and we're gonna do a remote event. And name this remote event, get money. Actually not get money, get ice cubes, get cubes. Now we're gonna have to reference the events event. So local game. Oh wait, I'll help. Local rep equals game get service. Get oh, no replicate storage, and then 
uncle at equals wrap wait for child get cubes or whatever your event remote event is called and um uh, inside here we're gonna have to fire the we, we're gonna have to send a we're gonna have to call the event all right so this is how we're gonna do it so event fire server and we're gonna add plr we're gonna pass the parameter to plr and I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do for now. All right, now we're gonna add a script here. This is gonna be called a cube, all caps, because yes. Okay, so do that. And now we're gonna have to receive it somehow. So game dot replicated storage dot get cubes dot on server event connect function and then plr as we called it oh my god it keeps doing the physical properties thing i don't like it okay so plr dot leader stats dot ice cubes what it? i think it was ice cubes ice cubes yeah dot value equals Uh, one ice cube. Alright, let, let's play it. I don't know if I'm gonna get er an error or not. Okay. As And as you can see, you can get one and I'm butterfly clicking, which is kind of fast clicking and, um, yeah, it has, yeah. Alright, it works. Wow, we're getting ice cubes. That, that's, that's cool. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a ice cube counter. So we're gonna do screen UI here, and then we're gonna name it info. Because, yes, and text label. This is the cubes. Right, we're gonna have a counter for how much ice cubes you have. So this is gonna be kind of important. I mean, you can't, it's optional, by the way. Cubes. X scaled and we're gonna add a local script and immediately we're gonna make a variable for the player so not players dot local player while wait 0.5 do so we're gonna loop we're just gonna constantly get the players leader stats dot ice cubes on script.parrot.text equals and then cubes space so it looks nice and then dot dot we're gonna combine the strings and uh yeah also i'm gonna make the click me thing look nicer so four size pixel not three or color i feel like choosing a darker color yeah looks good uh text color i'll do this and um okay so and then i think that should be good enough all right let's test it now let's see if it works all right see cubes and yep it, it does work there's some delay so it doesn't lag out your own PC, but yeah, this is actually pretty, this is a decent start here. And uh, yeah, next episode we're gonna be doing um, data stores and I guess upgrades. Yeah, upgrades next episode. So um, please subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you want to see the next episode of this series. But uh, I mean, so you get notified and leave a comment if you guys have a suggestion or any things like any up anything else I could do and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and yeah peace